With the long holiday weekend here, people will be flocking to the lakes and seashores for fun in the sun and the wind. Well, we found some new ways to enjoy the summer and those breezes. I love the feeling of harnessing the wind. It's a very magical experience. Two or three buggies just gently gliding down the beach. It's called traction or buggy kiting. And in the right conditions, these lightweight trikes can achieve speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. It's like a dune buggy without an engine. All right, let go. Now the wind's going to grab it. Lift off. So okay, let me give get this to you. Before you get on a buggy, you have to learn to handle the kites. All right. And pull the right a little bit. It's not as easy as That's it looks. Pull left. Ah, oh, it's Oops. crashing. Oh. Should I just pull up? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Different okay. sized kites are used depending on wind conditions and experience. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Now you, I'm sure you got a little My kite is one of the smaller sizes, two and a half square meters. Good for beginners. Once I've gotten a feel for the kite, it's time to tackle the buggy. Well, you, you sit down with the kite up top, have okay. the buggy pointed towards the water. Or pull, bring it back, bring the kite to the left a little bit. Oh. Yeah, not that much. Oh. Coordinating wow. the kite and the Sorry, buggy is difficult in the beginning. Oh. But eventually I'm able to get the two in sync and get and the thrill get of a run down the beach. Woo, it's going faster than usual. Woo. The buggy was invented in New Zealand in 1990. Fritz Gramkowski and his father, both avid kiters, import the buggies and kites to the U.S. For Fritz, it's a labor of love. I think it's just so exciting that and it's something I love to do a lot because it's uh, thrilling, especially on a day like today when you start going very fast and uh, the wind's pulling you towards the ocean and you have to kind of fight with the wind not to get pulled into the ocean. I like that a lot. 